Why Him is a comedy film directed by John Hamburg. It tells a story of a girl who brings her family to meet her new fiance, a guy who's a little bit weird. This guy has made a fortune off developing apps for phones and as a result has become a little bit eccentric. Naturally the family he's meeting are all a bunch of straight laced people and so therein lies your comedy because he's really weird and they're not and how are they going to get along? So the trailers for this film I thought looked pretty good. When James Franco is at the top of his game I really like the guy. I think he's quite funny and you know I thought trailers these days who knows it could go either way but I was hoping it was going to be funny and I had a few friends of mine who all told me yeah it was like one of the best comedies of last year so I thought maybe this will be a good movie and it was okay it definitely wasn't one of the best comedy films of last year it was harmless entertainment previously John Hamburg had directed I Love You Man which I was a big fan of I thought that was a great film admittedly there was was a bit of a nostalgia factor in that one and that was the first movie that my girlfriend and I went to see but I thought it was pretty good. So things I liked about Why Him, the casting was so spot on. James Franco was the perfect choice to play this weird douchebaggy kind of guy with a heart of gold. He was quite an interesting character in as much as he was just very naive. I mean, he was kind of this guy who you got the impression he'd amassed this fortune but didn't really know what to do with it. And so, you know, he wasn't your typical sort of character that you've often seen in movies like Arthur and stuff where, you know, he's just surrounded himself with a whole bunch of like childlike stuff that he missed out on when he was a kid or anything like that. Brian Cranston as Ned Fleming, the father of the family, was also perfectly cast. He was just the perfect choice for this guy who was sort of a bit of a dinosaur. The guy was an owner of a printing company and he's living in this world now where technology is of course taking over and so you know it was a perfect counterpoint for Franco's character who was into technology. So you know the two of them there was definite conflict there. And that was really well done. Megan Mullally as the mum she was a standout. She was so freaking hilarious. Especially one scene that you've probably seen in the trailer where she's trying to get it on with Ned in the bed man you don't see everything in the trailer which was great and that scene was hilariously funny and I also thought that Zoe Deutsch Deutsch Douche, 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 whatever her name is. She was really well cast as well. Mainly because she kind of had this maturity behind her character. And I don't know, you, you kind of believe that these people would be in this situation. But unfortunately, it's a situation that we've just seen so many times before and probably done better previously. There was one really amazing cameo by a couple of people from a, well, pretty well-known rock band. I'm not going to spoil who it was because I didn't actually know this going into the film, so. So that was actually one part that I really enjoyed. As much as I liked this film, I don't know, it didn't have as many laughs as say for instance Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, which I still think was the best comedy for 2016. And that was the biggest letdown of why him was the script. I mean, you know, all the scenes were just kind of interchangeable, they were just sort of put there to tell a joke and didn't really further the story in any sort of way. I mean, seriously, you could just take all the scenes, jumble them around and probably still have the exact same story. And that is not the sign of a good script. I'm looking at you, Jonah Hill, because Jonah Hill was actually the writer of the film, or one of them, and it just sort of reeked of that typical Jonah Hill humour where it relies on sort of, you know, crass stuff. Admittedly, there was one really great joke about Bukaki, and I think I was probably one of about five people in the theater who actually understood it but at the end of the day the movie just didn't really have much of a heart to it so yeah in that respect I was a bit let down so this is not a movie you really need to see on the big screen it'd be perfectly fine on Netflix or something like that it's definitely not the kind of movie I would end up owning in the collection and I'm gonna give why him a six out of ten so guys, if you've seen Why Him, what did you think of it? Let me know, drop me some comments either here or on Facebook. All my social media links are down below. And thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to my channel lately. If you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button because I'd love to have you on board my channel. Drop me some comments because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. See you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now. So what have you got to lose? Yeah.